In our second video, Evaluating Fiscal Policy, we're taking a closer look at the Laffer Curve. Now, the Laffer Curve helps us to explore the relationship between the tax rate and the amount of tax revenue raised. So here are some key points. Initially, as tax rates rise, the government will collect more tax revenue in total. People carry on working just as they have been, but a little bit more of their income gets taken in tax. However, if tax rates get too high, this then acts as a disincentive to work or earn. Some people might choose not to work as many hours as they have been doing. In effect, what they do is substitute leisure time for their work time. Some people might get involved in tax evasion or avoidance schemes. In other words, do whatever they can to not pay the tax that is owed. There might also be what we call a brain drain. High earners might choose to leave the country and move to a country with a low tax system. And some people might choose to be paid in alternative ways. So instead of being paid a salary, for example, they might be paid um, in alternative ways, such as being given shares or options. So with that in mind, let's move on to a thinking task. Now in this thinking task, Take a look back and think about the information we've provided so far. Take a look at the axes provided on the right hand side and then think about how you might plot a graph that represents the information that we've given you. Take two or three minutes to think about this, just pause the video and when you're ready to carry on, just restart. Okay. Now, hopefully you've come up with something a little bit like this on the screen. It's a good idea to make sure that you label the tax rate on the bottom that you have zero and 100%. Clearly when the tax rate is zero, the government will earn no tax revenue at all. And when the tax rate is 100%, there is no point working if the government takes your entire income. So at those points, they are zero. And between them, we have that parabola shape. Now I've drawn mine slightly offset to the right and that's because in many cases evidence suggests that the optimal tax rate is actually greater than 50% but that varies between countries and there is an interactive activity as part of this online lesson that you can play to explore this in more detail. Now the point that I've indicated there is where there is the peak in terms of tax revenue, the highest amount of tax revenue. And the tax rate at which that occurs is known as the optimal tax rate. And you can see that there highlighted for you on the screen. At tax rates below T star, the government should increase tax rates if it wants to increase its overall tax revenue. At tax rates above T star, the tax revenue will fall if the government raises tax rates. So the government should reduce tax rates in order to increase its tax revenue. Let's just take a look at some real life application. Uh, I've just snagged this from The Economist uh, who have a wonderful daily chart every day on their website, which is well worth looking at for economic students just to find out a little bit more about what's going on in the world. And last year, they published an article, in 2019, they published an article estimating the Laffer curve for top marginal income, income tax rate earners. So these, this is just the Laffer curves for those people who are top income earners. This isn't the average Laffer curve for the entire economy. Different types of people have different incentives to work. So if we just take a look at the United States chart there on the left that's highlighted for you. What this shows um, is the uh, marginal income tax rate along the bottom. And then the y-axis shows tax revenue as a percentage of current revenue. So what the chart shows for the United States is that the current marginal tax rate is around sort of 48, 49%. But if they raised it to around 76%, they would earn more tax revenue. So currently, the tax system on high earners in the United States is underperforming. If we compare that to France, 
what we can see is they've actually got it pretty much right according to this research in that the top marginal income tax rate on high earners couldn't actually be changed in order to generate more tax revenue. Contrast that with Sweden. Sweden's government have gone a bit too far. Their um, highest income tax rate, the marginal income tax rate on high earners, is just a fraction over 75%. But the chart shows that if they lowered it to something more like 60%, they would actually increase their tax revenue. It's worth just pausing for a moment to think about some key evaluation points for the Laffer curve. In reality, um, optimal tax rates are generally quite high. Lots of people who support the idea of the Laffer curve say that it tells us that tax rates should be cut. Um, but evidence suggests that actually in reality that's, that's not true. For the most part that curve is skewed and the optimal tax rate is generally quite high. So we shouldn't really always use it as a justification for tax cuts. We also need to consider the overall impact on income and wealth inequality. So it's not just about how much tax revenue is earned. We need to think about what the government might actually do with that tax revenue, whether, for example, it's using it to uh, redistribute income to the poor. Tax rates um, and when they change, it doesn't always lead to immediate changes anyway. So even if governments did raise or lower the tax rate, there would it would be unlikely that there would be a very quick effect because of fixed contracts. People are often employed for a certain amount of time. They've already been promised a certain amount of pay. So it's very difficult to change behavior, particularly in labor markets quite quickly. Many factors affect work incentives, not just tax rates. People might accept a higher tax rate if, for example, working conditions and the hours that you have to work are very, very favourable. And it also depends, tax rates that is, depends on um, the political perspectives of your government. More socialist or left-wing governments tend to just tax the high earners much, much more anyway, uh, just because of the nature of their underlying uh, thinking and philosophy. So just time to think again. This is something you can do at home on your own. Just take a moment to think about which of the factors that we've identified there for evaluation might be the most relevant in the UK.